Welcome back to today's video. We'll be reviewing the 2006 mystery romance movie, Cashback. Get ready to remember all the mysterious parts and romantic moments of this unforgettable movie. The movie starts with an angry woman yelling, and then we meet the main character, Ben. Soon after, Ben goes through a tough breakup, and on the same day, his ex-girlfriend finds a new boyfriend. In the lunchroom, Ben witnesses this. Next, in an art class, students draw a portrait of a naked man, and Ben is among them. Ben, who is a talented artist, is deeply affected by his recent breakup with his girlfriend Susie. He struggles to concentrate due to heartbreak and suffers from insomnia, staying up all night for several days. One day, Ben goes to a supermarket to shop and notices a poster inside advertising night shift positions. Intrigued, he joins the night shift team, which includes four others. Among them is a girl named Sharon. Ben instantly falls in love with her, and it seems like Sharon might be interested in him too. The two other guys, Matt and Barry, are quite foolish and mischievous. They play pranks like placing adult toys in ladies' shopping carts, and surprisingly, some customers end up buying them despite not remembering putting them in their carts. After working for a while, Ben finds the night shifts boring and making it hard to focus. To cope with boredom, he has an ability from childhood the power to freeze time. When he activates it, everything and everyone around him stops moving. This includes people, allowing Ben to draw portraits of the women. In this frozen moment, he sketched all the ladies in the store. After that, one day, he even pranks his boss by freezing him in front of a dropping milk bottle. After doing his paintings, and pranks Ben unfreezes time and resumes normalcy. We delve into Ben's past to understand the origin of his attraction to females. He was deeply in love with the female form. We discover that a girl stayed in their house, but in this narrative, she would always go to her room fully opened. However, she consistently positioned herself in front of Ben's room, and Ben always found enjoyment in these moments. Ben opened up about his past, revealing that he and his friend Sean, along with other village kids, used to pay a senior girl named Natalie to show them things. However, things took a turn when Ben and Sean went too far. While at Sean's house, they read magazines belonging to Sean's parents. Caught by Sean's mom, they hastily left the room, leaving the magazines behind. As Sean's mom reprimanded them, the awkwardness escalated when she noticed their pants. In response, the boys feigned innocence, nonchalantly shrugging their shoulders as if oblivious to the situation. Following the childhood revelation, Ben and his colleagues, along with their boss, engaged in a football match against another team. Despite their efforts, they lost all the matches. During one play, the ball hit Ben's boss. In response, Ben froze time, took a break in the restroom, and noticed another person moving in the frozen moment. Unable to see his face, the mysterious guy ran outside. Ben realized that some people could move in frozen time. When time resumed, Ben's boss was badly injured. Later, we observed Ben and Sharon on a date. Afterward, Ben dropped Sharon off at her house, and as she entered, she surprised him with a kiss before go inside. The next day, Matt and Barry had a humorous encounter at the cash counter when a hot girl purchased an adult toy. Their reaction suggested as if the purchase was meant for them. Meanwhile, Ben's boss arranged a party for his birthday to overcome the disappointment of their football match losses. Sharon invited Ben to the party as her date, and Ben, excited for the opportunity, happily agreed. Meanwhile, Barry and Matt decided to play a prank on Ben by pretending to be art gallery owners. They set up a fake appointment, instructing Ben to bring all his paintings to the office. However, Ben took the prank seriously, thinking it was a genuine opportunity. At night during the date with Sharon, Ben excitedly shared news about his supposed art gallery appointment. As they entered the party, they discovered a large crowd, and Ben's boss had arranged for a stripper, Natalie, the same girl from Ben's past. Seeing her, Ben felt uneasy. To add to the complexity, Ben's ex-girlfriend, Susie, who had broken up with him at the beginning of the movie, was now dating Ben's boss's brother. Susie apologized for their past and kissed Ben, leaving him bewildered. 
Meanwhile, Sharon, looking for Ben to dance, witnessed the kiss and angrily left the party. He froze in the time, but Ben couldn't reverse time. While we unravel the rest of this fascinating story, hit that subscribe button below to stay updated with our content. Let's continue the movie. Eventually, he unfroze time and saw Sharon leaving. In an attempt to apologize, Ben went to Sharon's house, but she was furious, yelling at him to leave and slamming the door. The following day at the store, Ben noticed Sharon's chair was empty, indicating that she had left her job, likely because of the events at the party. Ben became deeply concerned about the situation. Next day he go to the art gallery, Ben headed there with anticipation. However, Barry and Matt played a prank, pretending to be from the art gallery and luring him there. Despite the prank, the real owner, impressed by Ben's drawings, arranged an exhibition for him. Excitedly, Ben returned home and sent an invitation card to Sharon for his upcoming art exhibition. On the day of the exhibition, Sharon attended and was pleasantly surprised to see that all the paintings were of her. She realized that Ben had created these artworks for her. Impressed and moved, Sharon congratulated Ben in a unique way, she kissed him. Ben, captivated by her, froze time to savor the moment. To his surprise, Sharon could move in the frozen world. They went outside where the snow was suspended, and in that frozen world, they shared a kiss, and that's the end of the movie. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos like this one. We'll see you in our next video.